Hello and welcome to Sane Sunday Live. We start like we usually do with the calendar of events, announcing the, uh, where the car shows are and the cruise ends and things like that. We like to support <laughs> these people and we go out not just film the vehicles and the people, but they support much needed charities. And so therefore we like to support them. You will find in our uh, description the link to a couple of the charities that they support in case you want to give. This weekend was a packed weekend. We had an event at Hot Rod City in Ringgold, Georgia. Another one in uh, Marietta, Georgia, the Jim R. Miller Park uh, Creepers Fun Run. There was the Dalton Beat the Heat meet, which is where we were filming. So look forward to some video from the Dalton Beat the Heat meet where we were at yesterday. There were uh, the Disabled American Veterans at Bradley Square Mall in Cleveland, Tennessee. Uh, there was also the Miles Through Time Once a Year car show at Tacoa, Georgia. And East Curra Street. Now, next weekend is the much awaited Time to Shine car show here in Dalton, Georgia, at the North Georgia Fairgrounds, which is even bigger than the uh, space they had last year, which was big at the Dalton Convention Center. Um, All outdoors this time. And don't forget. That's the 16th. And don't forget, the 17th is Father's Day. So, and if you haven't got a Father's Day present yet, you can look in the description of most of our videos to the featured cars. We put links to die cast models and sometimes RC cars, um, hats with the logos for like you Mopar guys, if it's a Hellcat or something like that, there'll be hats and t shirts with the Hellcat logo on there uh same thing with uh, some of the camaros and and that sort of thing so look for merch and die cast cars and stuff if you need a last minute gift or something you can click on those links and find something that's similar to or reminiscent of the the featured vehicle on the 23rd june the 23rd there is the YouTube call out at Gallant Motorsports in Benson, North Carolina. There is the uh, Hot Rod City, their cruise in. They do the second Saturday and the fourth Saturday of the month. So there'll be another cruise in at Hot Rod City in Ringgold. The Dalt. Dalton Mountain Creek Harley Davidson is going to have another free concert featuring. Um, let's see who is. I'm sorry, I didn't write down who was there, but it is on our Sane Auto Facebook page. Who the artist is? Oh, it's the Other Guys. That's the name of the group. Is the Other Guys live concert? Right here in Dalton, Georgia, at Mountain Creek Harley Davidson. Next month in July, on Wednesday, 4th of July, there's a veterans car show in Saudi Daisy from 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. Then Saturday the 7th is the Southern Tradition Etowah River Park, uh, 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. at 600 Brown Industrial Parkway in Canton, Georgia. Car show there. Then the second Saturday of the month is Fairway Volts at Fairway Volkswagen in Kingsport, Tennessee. They have a big turnout of Volkswagens there every year about this time. They'll be on the 14th of July. And again, there'll be the Dalton Beat the Heat, the Beat the Heat Dalton meet, which like I said, we just went to yesterday and we've got lots of film for this month from yesterday there's also the disabled american veterans meet in cleveland tennessee again from 5 to 9 p.m again at bradley square mall 
on the 14th. Uh, also, that same weekend, Saturday and Sunday, there is Knox, Knoxville Volts, folks. Uh, their Summer Jam 10. It's their 10th annual Summer Jam. This is another really big Volkswagen meet. Well, a car show and a meet and a... Uh, uh, I need more coffee. Where'd my coffee go? And there'll be parts and everything, the whole night uh, and events. Like if you've seen our Volkswagen um, events, you'll you'll know this. They have lots of good games for the whole family, kids and all. Uh, then uh, the 21st of July, another live concert at Mountain Creek Harley Davidson and Audi Burchett will be live and that's about as far as we go if you want to see more that's even further into the future check out our, our sane auto facebook page and we have more events there we cost always you never know what you're going to find on there because there's event coordinators from all over the area posting their events on the sane auto facebook page and the car show cars and cruisers of North Georgia page that we have on Facebook. Now I wanted to give some shout outs to some of the frequent flyers we see in our chat uh, during our lives. And starting with Camaro time, we really appreciate you being here in our live chat a lot and Johnny Pro, Alex Fisher, Haitley Motorsports V60, Joe Z, Rusty Zipper, DSW Joyride Productions. And hello, JL Lego Builder. Good to see you here. Hi. Urban to Paid Tourist. Uh, Daniel Valier, we're shouting out people that are frequently in our live chat. Nathan likes drums, works hard for MK3. Remy Moore, big special thanks to Remy Moore. Demon Durango, Mr. Dutchy Dutch. I tried to figure out why we didn't have people, so I, I Googled today. Mm -hmm. and Yes, see the holidays, and that one came up. Oh, good grief! <laughs> Hashtag Team Sabatron, Build It RT, Andrew Pierce, Broke Next, Mopar Arts RT. We really appreciate y'all being frequently in our live chat, and another a big special thanks to our. Guest, hello, Camaro time. And Chanchal Rawat. I'm sorry if I butchered your name. <laughs> okay. And uh, big special, uh, Camaro time, you're just in time. We're about to give a big special shout out to our guests on our Insane Friends Wednesday night show. Our first guest was Camaro Time. Gregory Camaro Time was here at two. I'm sorry we were late. <laughs> we were here at two, too, but we were I'm having. I'm studying for my life license, and everything gets pushed aside for that. We were, we were having difficulties. I was trying to get everything together for the announcements, and she's still studying 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 every day so a uh, special thanks to camaro time for being our first guest on insane friends wednesday night at 7 30 and gregory salvatore was our second guest uzo lou and then there was johnny pro and then most recently choppers rule one 
every one of them. It's an awesome are, show from down under. Absolutely. Andy does uh, pet rescues too. Yep. In his family, they they they've uh, got a lot of animals in that house. Yep. Every one of our guests has been absolutely wonderful and made a great show. Now, I almost forgot we got to we got to go over what's coming next on the channel. We've got a lot of cars that we filmed, and I know y'all been waiting for the na 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 Batmobile. <laughs> <laughs> and I uh, actually I don't know who's next Camaro time. We're gonna have to send out some invitations to some people. Um, we got uh, Chopper's rule at the last minute last Wednesday. So if you know anybody you want to be on the Insane Friends show, uh, appreciate it if you send them a message and and tell them to come on here. Because we're wide open for Wednesday for whoever wants to be on. In the meantime, and you I guys finally, need to start calling each other out. That's all I got to say. <laughs> yeah, challenge each other to be on Insane Friends. Start challenging each other. It's up to you guys. Be the new car community challenge. Who's brave enough to come on Insane Friends on, on Wednesday night? Fab automotive detail. And that's a great idea, Camaro. That would that would be great. That would be great. And like I said, I finally, finally finished a Batmobile video. Which in doing the Batmobile video, that's why I I'm realized wearing this shirt today. Mm -hmm. One of the reasons it was taking so long is because I was trying to do so much with the one video and I realized it just really, really deserves more than one video. So I'm going to have to do more than one Batmobile video and maybe more than two. I three. have to suffer going back to the Hollywood car museum. <laughs> I'm very sad. Can you tell? <laughs> <laughs> in the meantime i finally finished the batmobile the first batmobile video and so that will probably be going up tomorrow i did have some in addition to having my own problems with wanting trying to wanting to put too much in there and wanting to spend too much time on it and stuff and and uh not having exactly the right music i wanted that kind of thing then i started having some technical difficulties when i uploaded it and i was not able to do the thumbnail with uh tubebuddy for some reason there was some kind of glitch going on with tubebuddy and it didn't want to let me use the tubebuddy thumbnail generator on that particular video i made Wasn't another that video kind of a curse on the batmobile no 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 you're thinking of the other one of the other videos that we one of the other vehicles oh, that we yeah, photographed it was, it was james the james dean car yeah. yeah yeah and it it was there so you'll see a picture of that near the end of the batmobile video where we've got a lot of stills of some of the other vehicles uh george barris vehicles and they're kind of a sneak peek and some of the yes, other videos Camaro that are come. I think TubeBuddy is owned by the Joker. Because <laughs> it, it does get a little glitchy sometimes, but I, I still would not give it up for anything. And uh, I mean, the next video that I did, I went ahead and did another video because I was having trouble with the Batmobile. And it went ahead and let me do the thumbnail for that other video like it was nothing. And so but anyway by the time i got that done i'd already done this other video and uploaded this other video and went back to the batmobile video and of course we're doing the live today so the batmobile um video will be coming out tomorrow on monday around noon 
Eastern time. And then videos coming after that, because one of the problems I was having that was taking so long is I had to get the intro and the outro right for this series of videos for the Hollywood cars and all these George Barris creations. And he just falls apart when I'm not with him 100%. <laughs> He's <laughs> paying attention to your studies all the time. Yeah. And and there I am alone with all, my cars. All by himself. What does that song go? All by myself. Don't want to live. All by myself anymore. <laughs> okay. I've never been alone. I've always had my tribe. Our train. <laughs> so, next on the list, <clears throat> and you'll see a sneak peek of some of these vehicles at the, at the end of the video of the Batmobile. There'll be a, a photo and a photo and a photo of some of these other upcoming videos for the next videos. And one, the next one after the Batmobile is going to be Eleanor, the GT500 Mustang from Gone Eleanor. in 60 Seconds. Yes. But I don't like this Eleanor that much because she's the one that never moved. Yeah, it was the, the one they fixed up the prettiest and the nicest and the look the best to use for still shots during the movie. So. Everywhere in the movie that you see still shots will be the Eleanor that we filmed. Yeah. And like I said, these are the actual cars. These are not like somebody's kit car resembling the movie cars or the TV cars. We got a chance to film yes, the actual it is the real Nic cars. Nicholas Cage. Of yep, that sure is. Eleanor. With Nicolas Cage and what's her I name? I don't remember her name. To save my life, I can never remember that girl's name. Uh, she did uh, Maleficent. And she did Tomb Raider. Angelina Jolie. Angelina Jolie. Yeah, that's her name. That's her? I yep, that's her so. with her hair dyed blonde. And some kind of dreads. No. Yeah, it's Angelina Jolie. Yeah, see, Camaro time knows it's Angelina Jolie. <laughs> and what happened to her big butt mouth? <laughs> Maybe she was running out of Probably. Botox at the time. <laughs> I don't know. You'd have to ask her. Anyway. Yes, anyway, before we get too far into the future of the videos on the St. Auto page, I want to give you all a peek at the trivia transmission parts and see if anybody can guess what this is and what kind of transmission or car it comes from. Get as close as you can. I told him to cover or those things this. up and they quit, they quit showing off his shaft. <laughs> so see if anybody can guess what transmission part they are e e either one of them or, and what kind of transmission they come from input shaft it is an input shaft can anybody tell me what that input shaft is from can anybody be more specific so while y'all are thinking on that and googling things trying to figure that out <laughs> i'm going to go on with the uh the future uh, videos coming to St. Auto. All right. The next one after Eleanor is going to be, and not necessarily in this order, but these are the vehicles coming up, and it will be the 1977 Camaro Bumblebee. Yay. That's the Bumblebee I like. It didn't last very long because they decided they wanted to make a new make a Bumblebee out of the new Camaro. I didn't like that. I don't think that's right. He was the set 1977 Camaro. And there's lots of pictures of her with it. 
That's my favorite bumblebee. Then there's the Batman Returns Batmobile. Oh, yes. Which we, we also got lots of video and pictures with. <laughs> she likes the original Batmobile. No, 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 Batman. They don't say that in the movies. <laughs> the movies aren't any good. Okay, um, he answers something. DH four hundred? No, burn wrong. <laughs> Not even close. Get another look at it. And the other part. But it is an input chef. You got that much right. And I like but the it's, chubby it's Batman. I don't like the one that's all in this fake body armor thing. Batman's a little bit chubby. Go check like out. Like a lot of the guys in the in the dojo, the judoka. He wears. When I was a, taking judo. He, he wears a. a Girdle. That's bad, man. Next that we filmed, and I'll be editing and putting up, is the Ghost Rider Chopper. That's one of my personal favorites, is the Ghost Rider Chopper. Yeah, I wanted to sit on that one. This is before. I wanted to drive the, it around. <laughs> this this one it before it turns into the digital uh, yeah the the actual motorcycle that they used on set not the cg one yeah the cg i mean that would have been family fun family vloggers is here hi hello actually there's quite a few people here that need to check and make sure that they have supported each other and supported the founders that are in the room and vice versa we have here right now uh carol saying is in the chat Hi. and is sitting right here i'm always here and jl lego builder is here i live here chanchal rawat and Camaro time, who is awesome. Beyond awesome. And first, anybody that's in here that hasn't connected with Camaro time, connect with Carol, Camaro time first. Then connect with Carol Sane channel. Then connect with each other. ACEH, AC Cybersport Official is here. I didn't see that one. Family Fun Family Vloggers is here. I shouted them out already. And thank you for supporting Camaro Time Family Fun Family Vloggers and setting a good example for everybody else because everybody else needs to be doing the same thing with everybody. Everybody in here is part of the same community and they, we all need to be connected. We all need to be hashtag insane friends. Yay! Whether you're from the car community, the Camaro community, the Mopar community, the the uh, I am a creator community, we all need to come together here on this channel and support each other. And remember, I don't use the word support as a substitute for subscribe. What we do is way more than just. Um, subscribing we watch full video um time says i don't know t5 yep we watch full video we like each other's What's videos staff, sweetie? we Tomorrow share each other's video t5? uh nope t5 is a manual transmission um and, and i'll give you a hint it's an automatic um okay so moving on with the future videos that you can see on the page you can look forward to seeing on the page the one with the long or the short one 
this is one of the shorter ones. Yeah. Oh, it's got the, the short um, splines, splines. The short splines, because the other variation to this for the later year models has the splines are about twice as long. And the shaft itself is a little bit longer, too. Yeah, that's the best I can do for you guys to get you a little bit more if I can. <laughs> yeah, there are there are two versions of those for the same transmission and the same core. Um, I'll let you announce the next vehicle. Monster Dracula car. You got the monsters coming up. Yep. It's the Dragula car. And you'll remember that from the Monsters TV show. It's the one that has it's made out of a coffin. You remember when and it Herman only has one Monster seat in it? Decided he wanted to be a drag racer and he turned the family car into a dragster. That's it. The Dragula. And Lily was upset with him. Yep, because it only had one seat after that. Yep. And a big blower on the top. And next after that, we have. And the I, I think it fell apart too. I don't know. I, think so. I don't remember what happened in that episode. 1977, Trans Am, Smokey and the Bandit. Oh, yeah, I like that one. <laughs> yeah. I wish they had the wedding dress in the back seat. That would have been awesome. You know how she threw the wedding dress in the back seat and the bell went flying out? Well, that would have been awesome. Anyway. And then there's the Ghostbusters Cadillac, which I think is way better I ain't than the, no ghosts. Yes, yeah, the Cadillac hearse. And I think that one was way better done than the six. new Ghostbusters movie. Nope, but you're getting closer because I'll give you another hint. It is Ford. And I'll give you an either, another hint. It's Ford Mazda, used in both Ford and Mazda. Yeah, they probably must because it's a little bit newer than what you would think from a C6. Do they put them in Mustangs? No, no. It does not go in Mustangs. Nope. Oh, yeah, I keep forgetting to do that tomorrow time. Thank you. Yeah. We got two likes, people. Yay. Awesome. Oh, yeah. And if anybody wants to, we'd really appreciate it if you uh, tweet this out on Twitter. Let more people know that we're live and that um, people in the chat are supporting each other. And we get more support for y'all and for whoever shows up. Now, the Ghostbuster Cadillac purse. Like I was saying, not only is that one a much better done car than the new Ghostbusters movies with the girls in it, they, I think those girls got cheated on the car because their car was not nearly as good as the original Ghostbusters car. Um, and all the original cast members, if you look closely, when I make that video, you'll notice that all the original cast members autographed that car on the roof of the car. Inside. Yep, inside. So I got footage of that too, so y'all can see all the autographs in the car. Then, Last but not least, we could not leave without filming the 1969 Dodge Charger General Lee. Yeah. So we didn't forget about you Mopar guys. We made sure we got good footage of the Charger before we left. It was one of hundreds. Yeah, and it was like 
one of only 17 that were left intact after this. It did do some jumps. But it didn't do the really big jump. Yeah. Is why it survived and was able to be rebuilt and used multiple times on the TV show um, and did multiple jumps on the TV show. So again, it's another one of those that is not a, uh, a recreation or a kit car. It's one of the actual vehicles that actually was in the TV show. Well, all of the Hollywood cars there are original, aren't they? I didn't ask on every single one of them, but every one of them that, that I asked filmed. about was one of the original ones. The, you know, one of the actual cars from the movie or the TV show. So, you know, and so some of them that I just got still shots of to let y'all know, you know, what else was there that we didn't film because, I mean, we've got extensive film of nine of them in one day. <laughs> so, you know, if we, if we try to film any more of them, then we wouldn't have got as good a film of the where nine did, that we did. The, the race car, the Charlie's Angels race car. I did photograph it, but I didn't film it. Oh. So okay. we'll do that again when we go back. Also, a photograph kit, but I didn't really film kit. Well, kit was in a dark area and he's blind. That was the problem. Yeah. I mean, kit solid black car and kind of in a dark over in a I, would, I can't say a corner because it wasn't in a corner up against a dark wall while being a dark car and it just wasn't conducive to filming did that so that the lighting would you know how he his yeah uh, because he does have the light on the front yeah. that moves back and forth and, and they wanted that to be visible people to see in person yes but difficult to film exactly right i completely agree and so it works hard for mk3 is here hey how you doing good to see you again um Like, and we, we appreciate you being in the last live chat as well. The, uh, so that's not the end of it. I mean, that's not all we filmed and that you've got to look forward to coming up on the, on the page soon. Uh, in addition to all of those famous cars, we're also, of course, still having the Insane Friends Live on Wednesday night. We're working on trying to get a guest like Camaro time said he's been talking to um what did he say he was talking to i wish my auto, brain was as good as it used to be um, yeah somebody else that we were talking to trying to get in here yeah that does detailing on the cars because that would be really interesting we haven't had a, a detailing Fab? Fab auto, auto detailing. Yes, you're right. That's who it was. He's talking to them. Hey, We're going to try to send him. Gregory Salvatore. All right. Yeah, he's driving, so he can't talk a lot. We we can certainly relate to that. So, you know, don't don't get yourself in a crash. We appreciate you being here. Fab Automotive. Yes, that's right. Camaro Time has uh, mentioned the Fab Automotive. Maybe we can get them here on Wednesday night. And uh, since Gregory and Camaro Time both are here, um, maybe after we have Fab on there, we might be able to revisit um, Camaro Time and Gregory Salvatore and Uzo Lou and Johnny Pro uh, and Chopper's Rule. Maybe they can come back sometime to the Insane Friends live on Wednesday night and we can catch up with them what they've been doing uh, for the past month. And how their channel's going and the new videos that they've got and all that kind of stuff. Since the last Insane Friends Live that they were on. Okay, and in addition to that, we still have a C4 Corvettes video to do. Which at some point, you know, she is taking the 
um, life, health, license, life. Health. Uh, well, it's life and health, health insurance, but life insurance. the license is going to be life, accident, and sickness. So that will be an increase in income on her side. I've been working hard, of course, on the channel to increase the income from the channel. And, um, you know, uh, the monetization thing doesn't bring in a lot of money. And a lot of guys like Camaro Time and some of the other guys that I was talking to at the cruise in last night are still having trouble getting monetized at all as far as AdSense money. Um, even though it's been months and YouTube is not only dragging its feet for small creators like these guys, but on top of it, they're short staffed. They're behind on reviewing all these things. And now they've taken on this other project, this other huge project where they take people who basically want to bad mouth something and complain about something. And not only do they help them grow and hurry up, get them monetized because they're willing to complain about something, but then they also give them extra money, which I think is wrong. What's what about the rest of us who think our society really is good and great? What about the rest of us who don't want to complain about anything? What about the rest of us who don't want to make a huge change in society because we think we have the greatest society of every society in every country in the world? That's why so many people are trying to come to America, to I've the been, United I've States been of America. Of the country. Before we get into this slippery slope here, yeah, we I've better been quit. outside the country and I've seen the real world. Trust me, everybody who has never been outside the United States has no clue what it's like in a communist society and a, a society that uh, is. Yeah, well, it's hard. Away well, it's hard is right. It's a mess out there. And, and there's some, you know, YouTube. I know we know you're listening. We, we know you critique everything that we do and we say, how about giving some money and help to some people who aren't complaining, who are trying real hard to do everything that you say you want us to do on our channels, like Camaro Time and some of these other guys who are having trouble getting monetized and uh, focus on some of them for a while some non-complainers when do when do the non-complainers get a break well they say this when do the people who are willing to follow the, oil, the rules though. yeah the squeaky wheel gets the grease but this is one of the things that that that, that i track when i was training my managers i told them the squeaky wheel gets the grease is not a a saying that tells you to grease squeaky wheels it's a warning that if you squeeze, if you grease nothing but squeaky wheels, you end up with nothing but squeaky wheels. You got to grease the non squeaky wheels, the wheels that don't complain. If you grease them and replace the squeaky wheels, you end up with nothing but non squeaky wheels in a smooth running train. But if you grease nothing but squeaky wheels, nothing but complainers, then eventually all the non squeaky wheels start squeaking too because they're not getting greased and eventually you end up with nothing but complainers so you know there you go youtube you're getting a reputation uh, out there from non youtubers of being nothing but cat videos and complainers and bad actors um maybe you should look at why you're you found a whole nother group of complainers and bad actors to reward greatly while ignoring the people who are following your rules and doing everything you tell us to do and ignoring some of them you know camaro times getting ignored even harder than we are at least we're monetized 
but we have learned that you know we got to put those affiliate links for from amazon and stuff like that to get any real money and and you got to put a lot of those yep i have to put a lot of those and so you know and camaro guys like camaro time and a bunch of other guys that's the only thing they can get because they can't get the AdSense because you've shifted what staff I, you have. I refuse YouTube. to be sitting here asking for uh, super chats. And begging yeah, which for we money. really appreciate I mean, getting yes, super chats do. and stuff. We really appreciate that, but we're not going to, like some other channels have gone to doing, we're not going to uh, make it the focus of our lives. We're not going to be sitting here um, saying, what we'd rather do is it's like we did last time when we get a super chat, which we did from Remy Moore, and we really appreciate it. So what what we do? We go we 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 tweeted out some of Remy Moore's videos. We commented on some of their videos. We give them some watch time, and we shouted them out here two or three times. And we'd rather do it that way. Whenever we get a super chat or something, we like to reward it as heavily as we can. But we don't want to be screaming for it all the time like some other like, people that we yeah been in contact with yeah that that you know we visit their channels and stuff because we don't want it to become that kind of channel and uh and that's not to say that we and, don't and i like the way nick nimmin does it when they get super chats they give a uh channel review and on the same enterprises channel we can do that because on same enterprises channel it's all about channel growth and stuff like that it's not an automotive channel and we can give uh channel reviews on same enterprises uh, whenever somebody gives a super chat but we don't want it to end up being you know hey um our focus we want our community support focus to be on you guys and you guys supporting each other and checking out each other's pages and and giving each other watch time and tweeting each other's videos out and you know that kind of thing not us looking for donations from the community which could make it where we could do more of that but let's face it i'm already pretty much full-time youtube so i'm just not doing lives every single day because we still want to put content on the and you're right remy moore it's ridiculous the way youtube is treating qualified people who who put quality content on their pages mm -hmm. and ignoring them while going out looking for bad actors who they say they don't want we, we need to, address to support their one. claiming camaro time you are awesome and you've helped us more than you'll ever ever imagine just being a supporter yeah and and we feel for you you know losing your job like that and, and i know money's really tight and if, and you you know i you've gotten a bad a really bad, wish i could do more to help you yeah that it I wish YouTube would listen to us creators when we talk about if if YouTube wants to to support creators who are looking for social change, maybe they should support creators who are looking for um, a little social change within YouTube. Maybe that's what they should. Maybe they should pick one like Camaro Time who's looking for some social change within YouTube. Maybe YouTube should change socially and focus more on quality creators who are doing Ryan good thumbnails, who are Trenner doing just showed lots up. of editing. Hey, Ryan. Ryan Trenner. Hey. Now, before we keep going on and beating yeah, the gonna, horse, we, because uh, it, I am, it is ridiculous. Yeah. And there's really nothing we can do about it, unfortunately. That we haven't already we done. Yes. Say something about it and move on yeah but yeah i mean yeah we got to move on i'm just going to keep i'm going to just keep 
ranting about it because <laughs> it it's chaps not fair. me. It's, it's, yeah, not, it's fair. not fair. It's not right. And it's, it sends the wrong message. It really does. That and is just wrong. And it's, it's all kinds of wrong. Woo! Well, okay. I mean, what they did originally was wrong. I know, yeah. I know channels who've gone from nothing to their thousand supporters and their watch time, and they're still not monetized, and it's not right. Yep. We were demonetized for two days. Right. And Luckily, not, it's not right that we got remonetized. Demonetized. It wasn't right that we got demonetized in the and first then place. Remonetized, uh, and others aren't. Well, every time they increase the requirements, you know, which they did every year. Every year they came up with something different that that we as small creators had to meet. We met it before their deadline. Every time they did it, including this last time, we met their requirements. And we had all the watch time they wanted and a lot more. It's just that we were having trouble getting people to subscribe. But they would watch our videos. Loads and loads of them would watch our videos. They just wouldn't hit that subscribe button. And uh, But we took care of that and we met that requirement a few days before the deadline and they demonetized us anyway. Luckily it was just for a couple of days and then we were right back to being monetized again. Um, and that's the only time we've ever been demonetized. Um, but I it's still, I don't understand. It's not enough money from the ad, criteria. And we have kept our channel very ad friendly. Like one of you guys in here mentioned, um, you know, you got some cussing on your channel. Uh, no, no cussing on the channel, but they cuss. Okay. Well, we don't even have any of that. And so it's like, and, so, and Camaro Times the same way. And a bunch of other, almost everybody in here is the same way. We have kept all our channels extremely advertiser friendly. And we've been very careful to replace any what YouTube calls bad habits or, or sub for sub habits or any of those kind of habits with community building habits, which is what YouTube says they want. So we've been trying very hard. All of us have been trying very hard to give, to work with YouTube, not around YouTube, not around their rules, but with their rules and with YouTube on exactly what they want from our channels. What they say they want. What they say they want. But it's kind of like dating yeah. girls in high school dealing with YouTube. YouTube people are the people in charge of youtube are acting like some high school girls they tell you they want one thing but then they go after a completely different another <laughs> i don't understand that mentality never have never will i don't either you knew me back in high school yeah well you were never like that no but a lot of those other girls were so yeah, he said, <laughs> I'm sorry. Down. You're right. You're right. Calm down and move on. Let's move on. You get back to be positive again. Woo! <laughs> All right. Um, in addition to these uh, famous cars that we're doing for the new videos, um, like I said, the new insane live at 7:30 p.m. and then uh, another the C4 Corvettes video, which um, after by the time we get done with all these others. It's probably going to be a month away, but eventually I'd like to get back to and do a new video of my own Mach 1 to get it cleaned up nice. You're going to let me drive it with you? And, uh, <laughs> ooh, I don't know about that. <laughs> could ride in it. You take me to the parking lot let me and drive I'd like to the get, parking lot? I'd like to get some video, a uh, fly-by video going down the road with it and stuff like that exhaust noise all that kind of stuff but uh it's 3 15 we got about 15 minutes left so 
<laughs> yes, thank you, Remy Moore. I, I I would like to do it, do a cool video of it this time. My older videos of my um, Mach One, I didn't really know what I was doing back then. I've learned a lot about making the cars look good, do, videoing the cars and making them look good. Um, since any of my oh, and I've got better equipment now too. You gonna let me lick it in the video? <laughs> <laughs> yes and Camaro times it 11,000 hours that's great and 1370 he supporters asked if we finished our road challenge not yet that is amazing and no I haven't I've got to put that on the list of, of videos to do the road challenge because yeah, I've got quite a bit of good next footage weekend or something or just what videos you got i'm having the same problem with the road challenge as i had with the uh the batmobile video i'm wanting to cram so much into the road challenge video that it's going to be a freaking movie if i don't tone it down uh oh today's the deadline today is the deadline oh for the road challenge eesh well there's that I don't think I'll make it because we got the live. Uh, we end this live at three thirty. We only have a thirty-minute break before live with Saint Enterprises, and then. <clears throat> Which I'm not going to be in, people. Yeah, because she'll be studying, and then um, after that, I've got. A, well, I've got several parts to ship yay that i haven't even gone out to the building to get much less package them up or anything we need to go to walmart wait a minute yeah we will have to go to walmart no don't approve that Okay. Yeah, that's that will tell for a review for a good that. reason. Can push that. Okay, Camaro time won't be in the next live because he is going to be doing some painting. And he's been, if y'all haven't seen his videos, he's painting some parts on the Camaro. And uh, so he's making videos of that. Well, the S word's better than the F word. <laughs> oh, the last people uh, that, that they got caught in the spam and they're, Oh, that comment was hidden. It wasn't the S word that they were using that got them caught. They were actually wanting to tell everybody to leave our live and go to their live. So, you know, that's that's just not cool. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I would understand if it was. Yeah. Yeah, their message was that they were live right then and you come over there to their live and and they take phone calls and all that kind of stuff so yeah as another it's kind of the same kind of thing as a sub for sub move or a spam move it's stuff. just it's just messed up you and don't go into somebody else's uh live and tell them you're on a live right now to come on over it's, but it is a good bad. example to to show why what we do with the community building and stuff work so much better because when you're uh when you're community building in a way like sharing each other's videos and watching each other's videos and stuff like that it's a win-win situation where you're, and you always respect each other you always treat yeah and you're paying and it you forward get to kind know, of thing you get to know your supporters a lot better i mean it's not in in the day of tv television um it was an anonymous thing well, there I'm was a been... complete disconnect, a lack of intimacy. And that was one of the things I warned about too with the uh, 
with uh, the I'm a creator community, which a lot of us here right now know what I mean, because we were have all been there since the very, very beginning. I warned about if we didn't start um, organizing and in a, in a way that we take care of a certain few people and the way I suggested was the, the six figures and take care of the six figures and five figures and five figures take care of five figures and four figures, four figures take care of four figures and three figures, that kind of thing. And, and reach out to those numbers because otherwise it get completely unwieldy and just total chaos. The bigger it got, uh, just this big unmanageable juggernaut. And if you look at much bigger channels that are already five and six figures, you'll notice in their chat, there's a complete lack of intimacy because like our chat right now, either any one of you could go look through the chat and know exactly who all is here and reach out to every one of them and they can reach out back to you and it's very intimate and you know each other and you can get to know each other very well when the chat's going through so fast because you've got like a hundred people in one chat it's no longer intimate and you no longer able to keep up and you can't get to know everybody and you can't connect with everybody and you can't get heard. If you, if you say something in a chat like that, if you're not already well known and well liked, you can't get noticed. And sometimes even if you were, if you leave and don't go to that live for two or three times and then you come back and then, you don't get noticed anymore. It's a complete lack of intimacy. And, you know, it's a danger we've all got to look out for and try to prepare for and not let that happen to our lives. Yeah, Camaro time. It, that's, a, that's a good way of putting it. Now it's become a free for all almost, uh, which is getting more and more like what we were up against before we had the I am a creator community when we went to some big YouTubers live and try to connect with some people and, and you just, you just couldn't get heard. And it's, uh, I'm afraid it, it looks like it's heading that way, but you can notice in our chats here, we still have Mopar community, very active. We still have all the car communities, very active, the Camaro communities, the Mustang communities. Um, we still have some of the, uh, off-road guys come in here sometimes fishing guys stuff like that and so you know it's doable it's attainable to keep up with these people all our insane friends and keep track and keep notice so even if it does all fall apart with the i'm a creator community and it gets to where we can't even uh, be noticed or connect with them anymore we still got each other We've still got the car community. We've still got the same community. We've still got the uh, the Camaro community and the Mopar community. And that was all there long before the I'm a creator community and we'll still be here afterwards. And Camaro time since he had one of his supporters get mad at me the other night. He was doing it on a stream. I was watching and asked people to come watch his had to be put in timeout <laughs> yeah yeah i can yeah. i can yeah i i see that i've only had to put one person in timeout too i mean it's pretty well behaved everybody that shows up which is a blessing um so and it's great that we have that option too i mean that's at least some of the things that youtube did and provided for us is really good and and uh, and works like when that other guy got caught by the the uh, YouTube algorithm and I didn't even have to put him in timeout and when that some people do get out of hand uh, we have the option of putting them in timeout.
Exactly. That's it's why I talk about on Sane Enterprises a lot. Remy Moore, you're absolutely right. You you got to stay active in more than one community because whatever community you're in, um, hopefully there's no dictator in that community that that controls everything, and which is a blessing and a curse because nobody can predict for sure just Marathon, how that community is going to go and what it's going to become. I love your channel. Um, and I'm so glad that you didn't hit that delete video button. Absolutely. Absolutely. That is, that is wonderful. And, uh, because we'd be, and, and we're so glad that we were able to, to help you make that decision because we feel less alone with you here. <laughs> I mean, you know, we've all felt that uh, like we were just struggling and really trying to do everything uh, right and and getting either no growth or slow growth and started to feel really alone on our pages because of that. And, and uh, we, you know, we need to stick together you, and help each I other. I would really be alone. <laughs> I would feel it, it just wouldn't feel like YouTube without you here. Exactly right. I mean, if I didn't see that Z28 symbol come up in my chat, I would be sad. So we got about three minutes. Anybody want to make any announcements about anything that's going to be coming up on their channel um, before we go and take our break before the Sane Enterprises? And I know Camaro Tom's going to be painting his thing, so he won't be at the Sane Enterprises live. He said he'd be in and out, so you'll see. Okay, him. you'll see That'd him somehow. And. So I'm assuming there's going to be a new video with the painting stuff and for the Camaro on Camaro Times channel. <clears throat> oh, okay. He's got Camaro Times got oh. the monthly cruising video, uh, and it's going to be two parts because he usually gets a lot of footage, uh, more than enough for uh, for two. Vehicle. Retro biker 77Q is here. Hi. Awesome. Thanks for being here. Thanks for being one of our hashtag insane friends. He's working on a video. Free Ace Cafe. Okay. That sounds great. We'll look forward to uh, seeing that. And Retro Biker, if you want to come on the Insane Friends sometime, uh, drop us a message and we'll have you on he, Wednesday night at 7 30. The finished paint video up the other night. Okay, so I haven't good. seen that one yet, so I want to see that and see how uh, the paint job came out. Good to see you too, Retro Biker. Yeah, maybe we'll get. Um, Retro Biker here on here uh, one Wednesday night at 730 to talk about his channel and what all's on there and what all he's so doing, what all he plans to Fab. do. So, yeah, we're trying to get Fab auto, auto automotive detail. detailing on there for this coming Wednesday night. And, and then uh, it is but Retro Biker, you could uh, you could send us a message on Twitter or Facebook, Victor Sane. On Facebook or Twitter, I'm more likely to get the messages on Facebook quicker than I do on Twitter because the Facebook um, gives me a notification on my phone. All right, you have a great day too, Camaro time. It's 3.30. It's time to wrap it up. And we really appreciate you being here and being part of our same community. We will be back at 4 o'clock. 
or ju just after four, after we, we take got, our break we got on Sane Enterprises. Walmart and get some some things for dinner, so I can okay. cook. So, till the next video, get off the couch and get dirty. Bye.